Hello again! This is our second video about marine fossils of the Carboniferous period. This time, we are going to discuss various parts of crinoids and then continue to search through a pile of interesting specimens from our collection. Let's take a look at the general body structure of a crinoid. It consists of a crown, which is essentially a cup with brunched feather-like arms and a long stem attached to the ocean bottom. It resembles a flower, and this is why the common name of this animal is sea lily. Here we have a cup, arms, and distal part of arms with tiny branches with pinules. The specimen were flattened, as often happens with fossils covered with multiple layers of sediments. Let's see how different the stems of sea lilies can be. They consist of tiny disks, or columnals, with a hole in the center, kind of like donuts or beads. In fact, the disks of fossilized crinoids are often called Indian beads. The hole inside of the stem is called lumen. The disks often have scars in places where small branches, series, were attached. The columnals with series are called nodals. Others are internodal. This is a curious specimen, a crinoid stem with another organism, a solitary coral, attached to it. Many crinoid stems are round, but there are plenty of those that have a profile in the form of a star or a pentagon. Now, we will take a closer look at the bases of the cup from various species. In the place where the stem is connected to a cup, the plates of the cup stick to each other more firmly and can be found together in one piece. The form of the cup is one of the most distinct features that help scientists to identify the species. The plates of the cup can also be in single pieces, but now you can easily figure out where they are coming from. They are like little pieces of a nature's jigsaw puzzle or Lego. This teeny 
tiny plate with pentagonal symmetry was probably attached to a crinoid's cup, serving as a protective scale. But that's just a guess. The plates of an upper portion of the cup could have additional parts that were sticking out like thorns, providing protection against predators. This is how they looked like. It is said that each spine is a single calcite crystal growing slowly but continuously during lifetime of the animal. This is a piece of a crinoid arm that was used to collect floating food particles and to direct them toward the cup along the special groove, which is called food groove. This particular specimen has fragments of side branches or pinules still attached. Thank you very much for watching. Please like us if you think this video is interesting and continue to watch our other specimens from our 300 million year old collection of Carboniferous fossils. We have specimens of wood, gastropods, brachiopods, natiloids, clams, sponges, sea urchins, and corals. All are shown in great detail. Good luck on your trip to search for fossils and other treasures. Woo!